£7 million is being invested to try and tackle the growing problem of rough sleeping in London. The Mayor, Sadiq Khan, says the money will provide both immediate and long-term support for rough sleepers and will include a new rapid response outreach team over the coming months and an expansion of severe weather shelters next winter. Paul Hawkins reports. So what am I making? Um, could you sort of out with an Americano? Americano? Yes. Meet Adan. I ended up sleeping rough because uh, I was married to a young lady in, uh, in Denmark who, unfortunately, we lost a child together and um, we never really got over that. So I came back to England. Uh, I ended up leaving everything behind. I was suffering very badly with depression. The chef used to live on London streets for almost 12 and a half years. How was that? Terrible. It was, it was horrible. It was cold. It was starvation. It was... It was treated like less than vermin. It was, you know, people have, I've had lots of people do some despicable things to me sometimes while I'm sleeping. So try to urinate me, try to set fire to me, throw bottles at me, you know, uh, threaten my life just because uh, I'm a vulnerable person on the streets. So it's, and this happens day in and day out to a lot of people on the streets. But Adan turned his life around thanks to the charity Change Please. With £60,000 worth of help from the mayor, over the last three years they've turned 84 rough sleepers permanently into baristas and helped them find a home. We offer housing within 10 days, so that's a really unique element of what we offer. So basically we're paying a living wage, so we underwrite the rent directly to landlords. And then landlords typically would give us a rent reduction, uh, we pay the first month's rent, the deposit. Today, the mayor announced a further £7 million to pay for a new rapid response outreach team and expand severe weather shelters for next winter. But despite previous funding from City Hall, the problem is getting worse. From October to December last year, there were 3,289 people sleeping rough on the capital streets. That was up 6% on the previous quarter and 25% on the past year. The reasons, according to homeless charities, are mainly to do with a lack of affordable housing, both private and social, also sky-high rents, and a welfare system they say does not support the most vulnerable in society. Last August, the government announced a £100 million strategy to tackle rough sleeping with more support for mental health and addiction. Charities called it a step forward, but not a total fix. How has Change Please helped your life? You know that shell? They saved it. Completely, without any hesitation, they saved my life. Um, I don't think I could have lasted much longer on the streets like that. Paul Hawkins, BBC London News.